hey, yo, or is it <laughs> Yomo? Okay, <yeah. laughs> bad joke, but welcome back to our Yomo show, a year of much good learning. Today, Chris will tell you why you would never win an argument. So <laughs> we are on Lessons 152 today. So this is a, a good good book, um, a classic book, How to Win Friends and Influence People um, every, by Dale Carnegie. I think, I think everybody probably has heard of this book or knows of this book or, mm -hmm. or, you know, has read this book. This, this is like one of those like classic, classic, you know, um, uh, just classic books. A lot of people know, I mean, it's probably one of the most famous books in the world. Um, so what's it about? It's about, uh, um, it was a book published by, by Dale Carnegie in 1936. And, um, the Carnegie was like, um, had been conducting like business education courses in New York and this was a, his courses, basically, um, that he um, kind of condensed into a book about uh, how to win friends and influence people. So um, uh, it's sold a shitload of books, and he's taught, helped teach a lot of people about uh, exactly what the title says, you know, how to how to better understand people, um, uh, listen with empathy, connect with them, and then, uh, you know, influence them to change, you know, so um uh it's an interesting book i i you know i actually I, I like it a lot i think it's a i think it reminds me of we've, we've talked about this many times it, it, it's like if 48 laws of power um were you know like a little devil on one shoulder and and how to win friends and influence people would be the little devil on this shoulder or the little angel on this shoulder it's like the same concepts of of how to either the 48 laws of power is like how to how to hate people and and only think about power and use corrupt uh, influ use influence for bad intentions and and to gain power uh and then this one's like how to use influence to win friends and how to use influence to to be a better human being and and you know so it's a it's a, it's 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 the same kind of principles um uh, but you know um with a different lens on it right so uh have you have you read this book i, I forget i have i like uh, i had it a long time ago probably like 20 years ago yeah um, what what do you think I actually had an audio audio book back then, so nice. I think it was good. Like I said, you know, you uh, you compare it to the forty eight power of laws, like the devil versus the angel, right? Um, but it gives you the same result, you know. Uh, it's a different approach, but it gives you the same result because on the on one hand, you know, the forty eight power law says you're everybody's, you know, it's evil, and you use that to manipulate them to do whatever right. you want. Same thing is on the other side is, you know, people have their own problems, you know, and they are just trying to, uh, you know, get through the day. So they're really nice underneath all of that, you know, I guess, uh, stressed for persona, you know, it's, it's right. a good person in there. So on the angel side, as long as you appeal to them on a personal level, you can get them to do the same thing. You know, you win friends and influence people or you can manipulate people. I mean, it's the same thing. Right. I mean, it's just two different words, but it's it, it the is. same thing. <laughs> it's it's like humankind versus, you know, um, the book humankind versus, you know, other books that skew it toward, you know, humanity is negative. I mean, who's right? Who knows? Right. But like either way, it's the same principles. It's understanding your elephant and understanding how to communicate with other people's elephants, you know, to influence their uh, their elephant actions. So that said, actually, that's a good segue. I mean, into... you think of, you think about you think about like the carrot and stick, right? It right. gets you to do the same thing, but it's a different method a different uh, approach to getting whatever it is to move forward or whatever you you, you dangle you dangle a little stick or you whip them high <laughs> uh so it is you know in the end like i'm saying is in you know, these two books give you the same result but one is you know the angel and the other one is the devil you know it just depends on perspective that you have on your you know your outlook onto the world agreed so so my reflection that this book made me think of was um, uh, the the reflection title is you'll never, you know, win in quotes um, an argument. Uh, so what do I mean by that? Uh, so if anybody knows me, um, uh, it's, you know, I love to debate like it is it is like and talk about a beaver must dam. Um, like, I mean, a Chris must argue like I mean, like this is <laughs> this is this is it's embedded Ding. in me. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we got a be we got a beaver mark. Uh, the um, uh you know, my whole life, man, I've, I've always been, it is just talk about just, it's just innate in me. I don't know what it is. Like you, you give me any topic. I you're will, a beaver. I, I mean, you're I a know. beaver. What do you mean? <laughs> well, like my whole life ever, like my whole family and friends, they're always like, you're going to be the best lawyer someday. And that's honestly why I went to, when I went to college initially, I, w I went with the intention of, 
I took a, a business management as my major because I wanted to be like a business, a, a corporate lawyer. Um, so I was like, I don't want just that stupid poli sci degree or whatever. I was like, I was like, I'll, I'll go get like my my business degree, and then you know, then I can go to law school and I'll be a little bit more well rounded than just having a poli sci degree or something like that. You know, so that was why I actually went into business school initially, um, and I wanted to go into corporate law afterwards because my whole life everybody was like. You're going to be the most amazing lawyer. And I was like, yeah, whatever. You know, I do love to argue. Yeah, let's do this. You know, you'd see all the courtroom battles and whatever. And uh, and I was like, yeah, that's going to be me someday. I'm going to be a I'm going to be an attorney yelling at people and arguing for a living, you know. And then I went to go study um, my my sophomore year. I went to go shadow my aunt, who's a who's a um, an estate lawyer one 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 uh, summer. And mm. she, um, uh, you know, showed me what she does every day. And I was like, this fucking sucks I was, like, <laughs> I was like all you do is look at contracts all day long and like cross shit out and like you know i'm like in in study law books i'm like where when do you get to just get in there and mix it up and like you know debate with somebody and and you know and, and it's and only do... on tv i know so like, on TV, I, was, I was like i don't want to do this i'm like i'm i'm, I'm the least detail oriented person like this is <laughs> this would be an epic disaster you know yeah. i was like I, I don't want anything to do with this so that was when i made the decision i I don't want to be a lawyer um, and um, and ended up sticking with um, my my, uh, um, you know, plans for the future. Yeah, so I think uh, that's a good uh, that's a good choice because, you know, 90 percent of all lawyers, they don't even go to the courtroom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you just file some work, some motion. OK, you're done. You know, right. it's easy money, but it's hard work for people who hate it. And I can't even I mean, for me is I would not stand one hour of it just because I mean, it's, awful. it's dredging uh just to think about it it is it's just it's it's awful sounding i i'm actually getting like one of those like mufasa moments you know like in lion king <laughs> he's like yeah, yeah. uh um anyway so so i think my data man I no. my data. <laughs> so my my like whole life like debating has just been like an arguing is just a, ingrained in me like the, i will step in the arena with anybody anywhere whether you're a stranger whether you're my best friend whether you're an enemy whether you're you know my parents whether you're my children like I don't, my wife i don't really care like you like you know we, we argue a lot like and uh, i mean this is just you know it's all fun for me it's never it's never bad like and never i never ever ever get angry at somebody else in an argument just because for me i love problem solving i love i love seeing different angles i love trying to you know expand somebody's paradigm or expand my own paradigm you know and i love argue i just love arguing all the different angles of it and uh, and it's just it's like energy for me it's like lifeblood for me you know and i i it, I, I get like engaged like and I and I just love it right but most mm -hmm. people are not like that uh most people hate to argue so so um you can tell like you know uh like ask any of my like best friends they'll be like oh god here we go Chris is here here he goes like when when's this gonna be over you know he's like, he's, yeah. uh, he's beavering again <laughs> uh, it's a uh, and, and you know but here's 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 what I've learned though over a lifetime of of arguing with people, and this is why I bring up this context to to, to get to my answer. Uh -huh. is, um, I have never ever in in hundreds, maybe even thousands of arguments that I've that I've conducted with friends, strangers, colleagues, you know, family members, whatever, never ever have won an argument ever. Mm -hmm. And I can be, and I will one hundred percent stand by that. If you went to go ask any single person, did did, did that conversation with Chris? change the trajectory of what you did next the answer will be no, no. i mean 100 it, it is it a probably no. make it worse it probably made it worse yeah you're right like it, they it, it made probably made them you know turtle a little bit it, and, and trench yeah. further into their, their already preconceived paradigms you know of like man like this guy i don't want to, this is stupid i don't i i i do agree with democrats you know what fuck it i'm a democrat like and i, and I like it you know what i mean uh, or, or and then they go vote with republican <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Uh, so, so the uh, um, that's what that's what I. It took me a long time to learn this, but um, uh, you know, now I only argue just for fun. You know, it's straight up just fun. You know, one of my core values is play. So, like when I argue, it's like play for me, and I and I and I and I'm just playing around because I'm not trying to win an argument or whatever. But for a long time, I did try to win the argument. You know, um, and uh, and and the truth of the matter is, is is why is that? We've talked about this, you know, many many times before in the past. Um, this is about paradigms in people's life, right? Like they like they come into it it takes a lifetime to build up your paradigms you see every single day a lifetime of of tiny little compounding events over and over and over again to to get to the point in time where you are having this conversation with me today whether you're a republican or a democrat or whatever it may be there, there's a or you're a christian or you're a jew or you're whatever like whatever the belief system is that you hold so near and dear to your heart 
that you're that you're being challenged on it has been a slow compounding effect probably since childhood since your birth like you know whether you grew up in a household that you know did certain cultural activities or behave certain ways or discuss things a certain way or whatever it may be like uh you know it's and then and then all of a sudden a, a little beaver walks along like me and is like wants to challenge your belief system and just just for fun for me but you're like you're like you know <laughs> uh, how do you think you're going to change it you're going to change 30 years of of of, of a lifetime of, of me like coming to this decision today whether i chose it or didn't like i don't think so it's not how it works right like that is not how you win friends and influence people in any mm-hmm. way shape or form so how do you win friends right like you win friends by doing what dale carnegie teaches you and it's if you have a few minutes with somebody spend all that time just learning and listening to them about the stories um of, of how they came to be where they came to be today just learn what they like, learn what they don't like, why they believe what they believe, what ideas matter to them, what are their values. Like, just ask them a lot of questions and make them feel like they understand uh, or that they're, that, they're, that they're being heard. And like, that's all that anybody really wants. If you want to do that, you'll win a lot of friends. Um, and, uh, and and don't argue with people. Take it from a beaver that likes to argue. Don't argue with people if you're trying to win friends. Like, that is that is the exact argument uh, or the exact opposite of what you will do. And you'll never win the argument either. So um, that that's point number one. Point number two, though, is around influencing people. So that's a totally different situation, right? So influencing, uh, that requires um, uh, a slow shift in, in paradigms and belief systems over time, right? So if you want to influence somebody, that takes a true willingness of both parties wanting to get together into a journey to enter together to see where they go together. So they need to be able to feel what you feel. They need to be able to see what you see, experience what you experience. Like you can't just influence somebody by 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 words or a 30 minute conversation. Influencing takes time. It takes a lot of retraining of your elephant. It takes takes a lot of effort and it takes a lot of uh, 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 cooperation of mutually wanting to engage in this journey together between uh you know multiple parties i guess in order to to truly influence them those types of relationships in my opinion are incredibly rare you and i we influence each other a lot uh but we've spent three years talking to each other every single night to influence each other i mean it wasn't like we've been just building this belief system overnight and and now we've come to this conclusion right so um uh, uh for me like the thing that it made me think about with this whole book is like the difference between influencing and and trying to win friends and arguing and all that other stuff um, and then I think of Amelia, like it always comes back to me, you know, Amelia talk about a lifelong journey with somebody like, you know, she's influenced me more than anybody that I've ever been influenced by for my entire life. And she continues to influence me to this day. Um, and her influence on me has, has had a dramatic change in my life. So if you want to know the best influence I've ever met, it's, it's, it's my daughter. Um, she's, she's incredible. I don't even know how she does it, but she did it and she still does it every single day. And we're on this journey together and, and it's pretty amazing. And, and I'm glad that you're on this journey with us as well. So uh, that's the reflection for the day. Uh, you know, the question is, is who's been your biggest influences that have shaped your world? Um, yeah. Anyway, I don't know where you want to start, but I'll, I'll, turn, I'll see uh, the floor. <laughs> okay. Well, let me start with the reflection title. Um, yeah. So you say you never win an argument. I think you're just stating a fact. Yeah. All right. And so I like to change it so that we kind of take a lesson from this. You should never win an argument. Oh, good one. Yeah, good point. Right? Yeah. Because yeah. take that and you are talking about paradigm. This is a paradigm you should take because you're talking about if you want things to go your way, you should never, quote, unquote, win an argument. Right. Because <laughs> when you win, you get nothing. You basically you, nothing. you basically get a pushback. If you yeah. don't win, they play, okay, this guy, I mean, they, they're going to relax and they're going to say, okay, let me consider it. Even if they say, well, even if they don't consider your 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 stuff, but they probably gonna give you a more room to you know uh, be flexible with a lot of things. So you should never win an argument. And I agree. And so when you say quote win, right? That's literally like winning an argument. But the derivative of not winning an argument, you actually physically, realistically potentially win an argument you think yeah. about it yeah that's true right just like you know it's your, 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 your paradigm right you you think about it if you say well if i don't win an argument i get that person to relax t- that person to not be defensive and take a considerations into what i have to say that's a win already and if the consideration was agreeable and they agree to do whatever you want them to do in the first place that's actually a win i yeah. mean a, a big big win Without the quote, right? 
So Agreed. for me, the lessons for 152 is you should never, you should never win an argument because actually, like, quote, unquote, win the argument gets you negative benefits. Agreed. And, I mean, and, and this is, to me, is based on this book itself, it's, you know, how to win friends. And influence, because if you are going to win friends, you have to influence them first, Right. right? And you can't win friends unless they are influenced by you. Well, win, winning friends and influencing people are totally different, in my opinion. Like, when, you can win friends and well, not influence well, somebody. Huh? How, I, I, well, ex, explain how that works, though. Because, like, let's just say that you you come across somebody at a party that you're only going to meet for 30 minutes. And then they're just, they're your acquaintances. They're not your friend. Because your friends is like, they somebody trusts you. Because for me, Chris, <clears throat> if you're my friend, right, and you say, you know, hey, uh, True, check out this book. I believe you. I'm influenced mm-hmm. by you. Otherwise, right. I wouldn't give a shit about what you said. I'm sorry, but I don't. I don't know who you are. But because I know you and you're my friends, you have more influence on me. That's why you're more my friends. Otherwise, you're not my friend. You think about it. That's why I'm saying is logically, unless you can show me where I'm, I'm, I'm missing the the, uh, the the concept here. But you have to influence people before they become your friend. Because if you can't if you can't garner my respect, how how would I uh, be your friend? And if I don't uh, be like, cause I don't care what whatever book you say, I say I want to check it out, and I'm check, because I I am truly influenced by you. By that, I don't like have a, a second guess about okay, is is he for real or anything like that? If you say hey, you know, buy this cup, I'll go buy the cup. I don't care what it, I right. don't care what it is. You know, that's the right. point. This is why word of mouth, you 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 in, in, in sales, you know, word of mouth is so effective. You're talking about ninety percent, mm-hmm. right? Am I am I right? Yeah. Is, is that I don't know the exact stat, but no, you're right. But I mean, it's, it's, it's much yeah. higher than the other, right? They they uh, so when somebody is getting a recommendation from somebody they know, it is very, very uh um I guess, you know, the the conversion is really high just because it's it works. And the only reason why it works is because whoever recommends them is that person have the high, they have a high status in 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 their regards. That's a friend, because you can't right. really get there, right? Because at first you and I met, right? You can influence me in something and a few things, but I'm not your friend yet. Think about it in the first, uh, let's say in the first week for that we we got together, right? Mm-hmm. You show me some stuff, yeah, you influence me, yeah, I think I agree. But it, you're not my friends until I really get to know you. So you have to get to a high level of influences so that person become friends. So that's why, like I said, unless I'm missing the idea here. Um, I, I, you, I mean, that's an interesting take on it because I, I, I hear where you're coming from. And I, and I can see you're, you're, it's, it's kind of really how you define friend, right? Like, you know, um, like. If well, I, if like I, I said, definition is important. And, you know, everybody has their own definition. Of right, what yeah. word means. Be, being impeccable <laughs> with your words, right? What is it? What is a friend? You know, like, I mean, for me, a friend is, I mean, I, I think everybody's a friend, to be honest with you. Um, like, as long as they're not um, an, uh, an adverse, I mean, an, like somebody that's actively trying to like hurt me or something like that. Like, well, I feel like, to me, yeah. that's, that that's depends on how you find things as well. Because if you say everybody's my friends, then, you know, you're my friends too, Chris. So you're not that special. I mean, it just, it's all relative. Yeah. It's yeah, relative, I mean, right? Because then for me, I have, I have, uh, uh, you know, probably like less than this number of friends <laughs> right. in my entire life, right? Uh, so, I mean, these guys are special. You can call me at any time, anywhere, and I'll go get you from jail. <laughs> right. <laughs> right? That's well, my I don't friend. Even, I don't know that I would call that a friend. <laughs> like, that's like a, that's a deep connection. That's a meaningful connection is what that is. That's a meaningful relationship. Like, there's a, di- I think there could be a difference in level of friendships where one's a meaningful relationship and one's just a friend. Like, somebody that you can, you, you, you can get along with, you can, you, you agree, you, you can have a good conversation with or whatever. And like, but maybe you don't, want to go engage into a meaningful relationship with them. You know what I mean? Like there, there's a different level of friendship. Like I'm talking about, like, if you just want to win a it friend. It all boils down to how you define the word friends. And right. People use it loosely. See, I have a thousand friends and I say I have five friends, you know, it's, right. it's, it's, you know, how you define it. And well, the, the spectrum is really wide in the range. I, I agree. I mean, I, I guess when I, my, the, what my sentiment is when I'm saying you got to win the friend first, 
before you can influence them would be the the friend in the most basic level, somebody that you can at least get along with and 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 can have a conversation with. Like that's winning a friend for me. But the thing but, is, what what they're uh, saying is this is this this is the word, right? If I say those people, right? Those people over there, those friends over there, which one do you think is more personal to you or to me? Those people over there on the left, those friends over there on the right. Are you saying people or friends? No, I'm, 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 just, I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you right now. I have those people on the left, on my left, and those people on my right, uh, those friends on my right. From what I just said, those two compare in, in the same context, in the same room, one in the left corner, one in the right corner. Which group does it sound like I'm more personal to? Yeah, when you friend, call the, the friends the exactly so that's my point when you have people yeah, and okay. friends next to each other that means right. that the friends is more personal connections this is why this one says when you win friends and you influence people it's in the same sentence therefore the influence people you have to influence the the, the people that you don't have less connection with until you get to the level of friend but you're flipping it and you say hey you know i want to win friends so i can influence friends if you well, do I can't that, know if I want to. I don't. I don't know as an influencer if I want to influence somebody that I don't even want to be friends with. You know, like no, um, you can influence. You can influence people, but you don't have to be their friends to be influenced. I mean, if if you if you are Elon Musk and you're Trump, right? That's oh yeah, people no, who don't influence people, right? They they influence a lot of people, but he has no idea who they who influence, right? So right. to me, influence people is not have to be friends, but you have to have enough <laughs> influence for me to be friends with you. That's a, that's a good that's a good point. I'm, um, I'm I'm just pointing out how I how my mind thinks. My mind thinks say like, you put two words together, one is people and one is friends, right? Friends is more personable, more connected to than people. When you say influence, then influence has to go from the bottom first to get to a certain level before it tip over to become friends. So that's that's how that's how I'm um I don't I'm know that I need to be stacking it. I don't know that I need to be influenced by somebody to be a friend with theirs. Like I could immediately meet somebody at a wedding I've never heard before. I've never don't right, know anything but, but, about but them. But you, but you, you just them. said that you have to win friends before you can influence them. I said that's the no, no. You're right. No, you're, you're no, you're you're right. Like I, I agree with you on that. I'm saying that you could you could definitely influence people. Like like hell, look. I mean, you're right. Donald Trump, Elon Musk, like those are great examples. There's a lot of writers. There's a lot. Um, you know, um, Anne Frank, like we were talking about her last week. I mean, she she influenced me. I've never even met her. She's died yeah, eighty yeah. years ago. You know, like yeah. So you, you can you can influence people in a lot of different ways. Um, I I agree that you could lay the the groundwork, but either way, influence is a process. Influence you need to spend an immersive amount of time with somebody and and who they are. Um, uh, in order to and and they will guide your you know your journey. Right, you have to both agree to be influenced. Like you, the influencer. Like has to has to have stuff out there that he wants to or she wants to influence with, and the influence. Well, somebody to is influenced. In. They influence you by just by being themselves. Just because, like Donald Trump, he doesn't really care if he influenced some some. Oh, that's not true. People in China. That's not true at all. I mean, I I think he he you can unintentional. There could be a a a. Uh, a um. Let's say let us say uh, let's arc, say a sphere around it where maybe the outer outer ring of something where you unintentionally are influencing people, but that doesn't mean that he you know he didn't that his his the goal wasn't to influence people in China or something like that. I don't know. I just think I don't think we want to go that deep into in terms of say, hey, I purposely want to live this way so I can influence somebody. See, I don't give a crap what people can say. Hey, I, that guy true. That guy's an idiot. He influenced me. I'm mad. I'm pissed. It's like I don't really fucking care, right? So that's that's, a, that's point. my point. Is I'm saying, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be this obnoxious true so that I can influence somebody. That's just, I mean, to me, that's just silly, well, right? Be, because because we believe in uh, in in making sure that you're you're always focused on doing things for you know yourself and being your own. But you can influence shit, people you know, by first. not intent unintentionally. You 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 don't live a way to be influenced and want to be. Say so if I want to influence somebody, it's like let's say I want to influence somebody. It's like either I like that person and I want to become their friends and I want to do it. But if I don't want to be their friends, I don't care how influenced whether negative or positively, right? right. For example, so you have some uh, pretty girl, right? They influence somebody. Somebody a lot of guys influence a lot of guys, right? But do they want to be like, hey, I want influenced by every guy or every girl, for example? Right. Uh, maybe they're not. Maybe they say, hey, I don't really care. 
they don't go out there and say, well, I'm going to decide that I want to make sure that the these guys like me or the girls like me or they hate me or whatever. You don't. You just live your, your, your way, the way that you want to live. And then whether or not that, however you live, is going to be taken in as a good positive thing or negative thing. It's up to that person. So are, are you saying you don't want to influence people unless they're your friend? No, I'm just saying influencing is more general because you can influence people uh, and and if if you are influenced by a lot of whatever you do, there's going to be a lot more influence. So influence is so the minuscule level that anybody can influence anyone. But the thing is, you can you don't become friends if you have a small amount of influence. You only become friends when you have more influence Right, and the other person reciprocate the influence. That's I so, think. So to I think, me, to I think me, you should call to, that meaningful relationship. You only become a meaningful relationship when when influence is is reciprocated. But influence is it and, still is still the granular um, piece, right? Yeah, but Where, but at that point in time, influence has been chosen to engage on both parties in a meaningful relationship. Like, because you, you, you don't, like you said, Donald Trump's a great example. You can influence a lot of people, but it's not a meaningful relationship for him. However, the people that, but well, we're know, talking about friends here. I know, as I said, like, you, so they're the combo of the two together a friend plus an influencing is a meaningful relationship. But the point is, is when friends influence people, there's only a binary. Uh... Well, we don't really care about winning friends and influencing people. We care about meaningful relationships, right? So, like, but we're talking. About, we're talking about. We're talking. We're talking about the context of the book itself, right? Because there's only yeah. two level. You have the people. You have friends, and that's how I'm stacking it. Yes, you can. You can interject whatever you want. You can say, "Hey, there's, you know, there's black and white. No, there's gray, and there's like darker gray, and there's lighter gray, and there's a slightly lighter gray, and there's light darker gray, and there's like, a uh, billions of shades in between." Yeah, you can always say that, and that's the point of art. An argument is like. There's never ever gonna be okay. Is it absolutely right or yes, it's wrong? It's always gonna say, well, yeah. There, there could be something between. You can say there's one and zero, or there's zero point, you know, point zero one, point zero 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 one, or whatever. There's so many in between. There's actually infinite. Whether you're talking about the numbers or the colors, right? Right. <laughs> and so when you you stacking friends and people from the two opposite pole, yeah, you can put it whatever in the middle, put them behind it, in front of it, or whatever. Right, I, I maybe, maybe what I was, maybe I didn't say it right. Um, maybe, maybe let me try that one again. I agree with you. We're only talking about the book and the context of the book. I'm saying as we morph this conversation into what we care about, maybe how we define a, a meaningful relationship is a mutually influencing relationship of friends. And that's a different topic. I know. I, 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 I'm not. I'm not. I, I know it's a different topic. I'm. 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 I'm working through a thought in my head with you in real time here. You know, um, like like we always do, right? So, um, uh, no, I'm just saying, like that's that's a it's a good point because you're right. You can you can either just and my what I'm coming at it is saying I I think you can just win a friend or you can influence somebody. But when you influence your friends, like that's a meaningful relationship. Right. I think you know maybe the. The, the book title should be influence uh, people and win friends, <laughs> but it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't flow as win friends and influence people, right? <laughs> uh, but I don't know. Maybe the way that I think is, you know, influence gotta go first before you can win them. I don't think so at all. I mean, I think it could be both ways. I I, I just just because the thing is for me to me is friends. you cannot. I mean, regardless of in my definition anyway. In like, my, I'm not a friend of Darren Hardy. In, in truth, in truth world, right? In truth right. world, I I don't care what level of definition of friends is. If you don't influence me in any way, possibly, I would not be your friend. Because Darren that, Hardy that is isn't, not how my brain works. Darren Hardy isn't your friend, but he influenced you. Yes, exactly. And someday so, he could become because, a friend. But only when his influence become greater and personable to you. No, no, his his influence is pretty great and 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 personal to me. Yes, but, but, that's, our, a, but our that's the thing is, is that's what, that's my point is I'm I'm proving the point is influence has to come first. If Darren Hardy one of these day come into India to Indy and meet you, you could become friend instantly because you already have the influence. 
this is you, this is this is this is where we disagree because I have a lot of friends that that do not influence me like like at all in any way shape or form. They, as a matter of fact, there's people that I keep at arm's length because I don't want them to influence me. Like, I mean, they like, already friends, no gonna, no uh, no you're not they, gonna influence me. They influence you because you keep no. them at arm's length. They did influence you. I'm talking about their lifestyles, their values. What no, they, what but they you care you about. are you are stay avoiding them. Well, that because they, influ they influence you in the opposite way, in a negative way, meaning that, hey, you don't want to be with them. You are influenced by them. That means that when they are in your that doesn't mean they're not circle, friend. you basically move away. That's the influence. But that doesn't mean they're not a friend, though. Like, that's what I'm saying. It's like they can still be a friend. But like, then my, my point is they have an influence on you already when you're a friend. And negatively mm -hmm. or positively, that's up to you to decide whether you want to call them a friend. But they already has an influence on you. You can <laughs> you cannot have a you cannot have a, a bond unless there is some kind of a tangible connection, like you know, two atoms, right? You don't call it a molecule unless you have a bond together, right? Yeah. yeah. And, and to me, that's the fundamental, the basic building blocks of having friends is there is a connection. The connection means that hey, I I am possibly say hey, I agree with you or I disagree with you. That's influence, whether that's you you attract or you repel them. It's still an influence because because when 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 I'm coming to the the circle, you move away. Well, because I'm there, that's why you move away. Because if I would have been there, you would have stayed. Therefore, there's no influence. An action is acted upon an object, right? Whether it's negatively or positively, it's still acting on it. That's influence. I'm I. I, I just chuckled in my own head a few minutes ago because I because I we're arguing and I'm loving it like it's fun because this whole entire conversation is neither one of us are gonna win at the end of it so <laughs> uh, um and, and that's okay uh um uh, but we uh but are, we, are, we, are we trying to win no we're not I'm saying I'm saying I was laughing about about the irony of this conversation of like I'm not I'm we're just having fun with this obviously because that's one of our our core values of clubbing is to play but but it's it's funny that we're in a debate oh, well, I, like, I, I I didn't know I didn't know we we're, we're trying to win. <laughs> <laughs> <We're not. laughs> you're, you're, but, like so here's the thing is like when you when you argue with somebody that you have a meaningful relationship with like like you know i don't think there's any i think it's always a net zero like gain of an argument right because i i appreciate your 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 um your views on things and and i assume you appreciate mine i'm not uh, i'm not arguing with you i'm just trying to understand no, no, I know. I, I'm, I'm, here. I'm, That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm, I'm like, telling you, this is what I think. I say, her, what am I missing? Yeah. <laughs> what I'm no, missing? I, 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 Tell I like me. Your, I like Tell me process. what I'm missing. Look, this, this is how I'm thinking right now. This is this is the this is a baseline. Okay, <laughs> I'm missing something. You know, I, I I put this together. This is how I, I see it. You know. You you I'm are not... missing something in one regard. And, that, and that's missing, fine. You're missing, that's a fine. Very big, you're missing a very big paradigm that, that I have, that, that clearly, that, that you do not have um, in this regard. I can go meet just a random person at CVS and, and go have a 20-minute conversation with them, and, and I can leave that conversation saying they're my friend. They, they are not going to influence me. They are not going to be a part of my life. I may never see them ever again, but that doesn't mean they're not a friend to me. Like, you know what I mean? Like, now... I, 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 to me, that's the thing is, you know, you you have to be influenced regardless because the influence takes so insignificant amount. Whether you say, yeah, I I'm I spend you know five minutes talking, to you. they well you in, they influence you to stop and talk for five minutes. Regardless of that, you you think this influence or not, you have been influenced. So you would have been spending five minutes out doing something else. You so, are. That's my that's my my logic that I'm trying to figure out is you know what does it mean by influence and what does it mean by not influence influence mean like if a you know a, a piece of of pollen flies into my vicinity and I react allergic to it it influences me I'm I'm sure. doing I'm reacting to something because of its presence to me that's the influence maybe I'm I'm too technical and chemistry I, 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 chemistry I hear what you're saying, actually I, I i know what you're saying i i mean i i'm, I'm not it's an interesting thought i'm not I'm... and and you can gate how much influence that becomes a friend that's up to you that's personal to each person well i think i think the only thing that i can 100 percent agree to in this conversation would be the the level of a meaningful relationship needs to be mutually influencing and mutual friendship um like and, and it, it needs to be 
it, it has to be that it has to be it has to be equal levels of friendship and, and influencing um and in, in my opinion for it to be considered a meaningful relationship well i think it has to be a strong enough bond to become a friend because um i can pass by yeah, with somebody and i can help somebody but doesn't mean that i'm their friends i mean i never see that person again so what's the yeah. what's the point of calling somebody friends if you never see them again yeah. i can i can go walk down the street and somebody say hey you know i, I live, i'm looking for direction to something like, um okay you go this way go i would do that right and right. i influence them i'm helping them now they, they become less agitated less stressful because i was able to show them you know an answer or whatever that i i knew of right i did influence them but they're not my friends because you know and it's not like they give me back anything or or they, i give them enough things to say hey you know true's a lifesaver you know my you are my savior i'm, I'm gonna try you know i'm gonna spend my whole entire life to find a way to repay you it's not like hey, I've done something so grand that they have to do that. They say, well, well thank you. And I think that's, that's, a, that's a nice guy. That's yeah. it. Right. But to me, if they go on beyond the first uh, event of meeting, well, I don't think they're a friend. They're, yeah. good, they're a good person. They're, they're, they're humankind, but they're not friends. A friend's like, hey, you know, uh, let's, let's, let's meet up with Chris. Let's meet up with, you know, um, Cole or David or whatever, because we you can go back and connect with them again. And to me, that's how I define it. But if I will cross by with somebody, I can be nice to them. I can influence them. I can give them money or I can be mean to them, right? And, and ruin the whole day. That's influence yeah. them. But that doesn't mean that they can call me friends. So influence, influence can be both negative and positive, but friends is only when you have positive influence. <laughs> So that's yeah. what I'm saying is, you know, the the more granular uh, piece is the influence piece. And it has the, you know, it has to stack up to a certain level where it tipped to become the next level, which is friends. And that level is personal to everyone. Somebody has a high level and some people have a low requirement level. It's, uh, you know, each individual is different. That's well, well, I thank you for sharing. And, and I feel like uh, I. It's an interesting perspective, and I feel like I, I I've heard that, I learned it, and and it was it it uh, helped me to better understand this particular thought. So, um, thank you for sharing. Uh, that that was uh that was helpful. Um, uh, I don't have any more thoughts on this particular one. Any any final thoughts from you? I I mean I think you should uh, not, you know, care about influence people so much that it takes away from your. I guess you know when we type be authentic, like be your because because this is this is thing is there's always pros and cons in every single um, concept or lessons or rules, right? Because if you say, well, I want to fit in and I want to pretend to be someone else, so that maybe he he expects me to be this person versus that person. To right. me, win friends and influence people has to be from within your authentic self versus somebody else' expectations of you. So caution on that if that makes I, sense i totally agree i think the number one friend and influencer that you should have the person you're trying to influence in your life is yourself i mean like i mean like if you're not friends with yourself and you can't influence and you're and the, what you're doing isn't influencing yourself i mean you are you are the biggest influencer of yourself like without a doubt so if you can't if you know if you're not influencing yourself and and you know and you don't consider your own self a friend then start there first you know because if that's uh, you know that that's uh that's that's that's, that's deeper you know it, almost every lesson that we have always goes back to like, you can't do anything unless you can do it for yourself. You know, like if you, if you can't either do it yes. yourself or do it for yourself, then you can't do it for other people. Right. First so thing first, right. Part, the first thing, yeah. first, first principle is you, is your, is your, your personal self that you want to be, be that first before every other lesson can come into play. Cause the foundation always. has to be solid. So your foundation say who I am and who I want to be be that person first before you do any of these things and don't um, compromise on being yourself. So the other, the other thing can fit in, right? If the other thing yeah. fits with whatever you want to be, then let it fit. If it doesn't fit, you know, move the next, use the next lesson. Just be a beaver. And then, and damn. You know, that, and, and, <laughs> and damn. And then Ding. other, and then other, other, other people will see it and they'll go, damn. That beaver can dam. I would like that. Let me learn more about that beaver. And then you have yes. friends that care about damming as well. And, and then all of a sudden you guys are, you know, like you're doing what you got to do. So, uh, so there you go. Um, yep. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks for, thanks for joining us tonight. And um, the question we can leave for everyone is, you know, who have been your biggest influences that have shaped your world. So 
something to think about. Um, and um, uh, and are they a friend? Is a question now that you could also ask as well. Um, so uh, thanks for joining, and we will see you tomorrow night. See you mañana. Good night.